hey what's up guys it's your boy samuski today i'm back again i'm not gonna be showing you how to make a beat this time around but i'm just gonna be showing you how you could uh install your mpk akai uh, mini this is mk2 so i'm gonna be showing you how you could install this uh, midi controller from uh, scratch and how to start using it immediately so i got this from ebay and i got it about 99 dollars i'm actually in nigeria so it shipped down from ebay to nigeria so i'm just going to unbox it now so that you see what's inside all right guys this is what it's inside the package this is how it comes it comes with the uh, usb cord and also with the controller so i'm just going to open it up So this is it if you've not seen it before this is what it looks like a uh, really tiny keys and some knobs here and uh, we got the pad with uh, the joystick and the pitch bend we have the sustain pedal here and also for the USB down to your computer I actually got this because I have not used a MIDI controller before so I didn't want to go for something really really expensive so I just need to go for something very basic. I also advise when you're starting out, you should not go for something expensive. I'm just going to show you how you could set this up and start using it immediately on FL Studio. So let's dive right into it. Make sure this gray light comes on. So you're, you're going to head up to the Akai website to download software. So let's head over there. So you create an account. Once you create an account, you're going to sign in to your account. If you check in the manual, you're going to see the product registration key. So you're going to use it to register your product. So as you can see here, I've registered my own product. So the only thing that's important here that you're going to download is the MPK editor. You download once you download it you're going to install it so once you install it so you can run it as admin that's what i'm going to do so you don't need to touch anything around here if you're just starting out you don't need to touch anything all you got to do is just click on program one click on get so once you click on get it's going to show you your device setup you're going to click on the device setup and the output you're going to select the mpk you're going to click on ok Make sure you have your FL Studio closed before running editor. So I'm just going to load up FL Studio. So as you can see, if we hit the key, you can see that it's responding. If we hit the pad, it's also responding. So let's see if we can add a new instrument. Let's say I load up Purity. So as you can see it's functioning the next thing i want to show you is how you could make the pad play your drums and the keys play your keyboard so right now we have purity and if we hit the keys it's actually giving us a piano sound and if we hit the pad it's also giving us a piano sound so the only way we could fix this is by going back to mpk mini so i'm going to close fl studio make sure you close your fl studio before you run this so run the akai editor as admin then you're going to come over to uh, the pad so as you can see the pad it's one and the keyboard control it's still one which means the sounds are going to come out from the same place so i'm going to input two for the keyboard and one for the pad then i'm going to click on send then i'm going to select the mpk2 and then i'll apply and then click ok then i'm going to send to ram i'll select the device setup and then i'll click apply and ok so i'll go back to fl studio now i'm going to delete all this so i'll load in purity and then i'm going to load in fpc So as you can see, the problem is solved. Now the next thing I want to show you is how 
you could uh, link the knobs first of all i'm going to be using it with the mixer so i'm going to right click on it and then i say link to controller then you're going to tweak the knob as you can see it's working now the next one i want to show you is how you could uh, make the pitch bend work so as you can see the pitch bend doesn't work so how you could make it work it's you're going to come over uh, the settings in fl studio uh, the pitch range you're going to make it 12 then uh, the pitch you're going to come over to multi-link to controller just click on it and then you're going to tweak uh, the pitch all the way to the right all the way to the left and then you're going to move uh, your pitch on your midi controller up and down so as you can see So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we could make a beat with this MIDI controller. Please hit the subscribe button. Head up to hbsbeat.com to sign up. So see you guys on the next tutorial. It's HBS Beat here.